Hi, my name is Masha Kazakevich and I'm the operator at Guelph Outdoor Preschool. I started Guelph Outdoor Preschool um, because I really wanted this option for my son and my community. I saw, I first came across this idea uh, from a classmate. I was in landscape architecture school and he showed me this YouTube video of this Norwegian outdoor preschool and I didn't think it was possible. Here were these children uh, really stimulated and challenged and, and, and happy and healthy and I wanted that here and I thought if they could do it in Norway, we can do it here. <laughs> we have cold winters, they have cold winters. We can, we can handle it and do it safely and comfortably. Intuitively, it just seemed uh, so right for for uh, for children, and I, I knew as a as a young mother that my child just loved being outside. And I tried to take them outside every day, but come winter, I, it was cold, and I'd be out there by myself, and it was it was boring. And I knew this wasn't right, and there was nobody in the park, and. I know he needed other children, and I needed other adults, and we needed uh, to have you know, social experience and the games and all the fun that, that comes with being outside. And I realized we need to create something, like a place where this could happen um, in a positive way. And then I, I started doing the research, and my, my what, what I think most most parents know intuitively, yeah, it's good for children to get outside and to play and to incorporate um, the, the world into their play. Uh, and the research bears that out, it's very clear. And there's, in the last um, uh, about 20 years, there's been a whole, uh, a huge spike in, in research on this. And we know this, this is how to raise happier, healthier kids, smarter kids, and more successful kids. So, so then that gave me the backing. Okay, let's do it. So some people uh, think, are they outside all the time? Uh, this is, it's not survival for preschoolers. This is a licensed facility. <laughs> There's a, we have a beautiful indoor facility and the, the, focus, the focus is not even on just nature or just outside. The focus is on happy kids that are learning and how do we do that? And whether that outside is a big part of it, we have this beautiful facility where we can, we can go and play and explore. And I imagine in the winter when it's cold, we might be outside for a bit and they get cold, we come inside. We can, we, we, we often bring the outside out. We have lots of art materials, we have similar toys and, and the same with bringing outside in. We, we gather, we, we find things, we bring them in, it gets incorporated into their art, into their imaginative play. Uh, it's, it's, um, it's the whole picture. Like, we want to show them, it, we want to learn about trees and science and, and, um, and animals in, in the real world. Versus, we also look at books, so we bring field guides and come back and talk, learn stories about them. But at the same time, when we have the opportunity to learn it in context, it's so much more meaningful. And it's so much more real and so much deeper for children of all ages. They can access it, access it at their level and, and we can facilitate it and it sticks. And that's what the research shows. So th that is really the focus. Um, but we're, we're outside a lot when it makes sense. And, but it's really guided by children's needs and uh, the weather. Uh, rainy days are great. People ask about winter. Winter is great. There's, they dress well, lots of gear. We, we go out and play. We're active. They're warm. And then we come inside. Warm up, you know, have uh, hot drinks and get cozy. So Miranda and I are a really good team because Miranda understands. She's an expert in early childhood development, for one. But she's also works in licensed daycares and she knows how they run and she knows all the rules and all the regulations, and there's a lot of them. <laughs> and, uh, and a lot of them are good, but a lot of them are, uh, well, you, you, they're just surprising unless, unless you're, you work in, in a licensed facility. And I, I come from, uh, I design uh, landscapes, I, I, uh, I guess I'm an explorer. I, 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 just, I just like to, Go far and see more, and, and you know, go harder. <laughs> and and if uh, 
And if it's hard, then that's good. You know, if you're working hard, if you're if you if you don't suffer a little, I feel like you haven't lived. But for for three to six year olds, it, it's a different ball game. They they for them far is very different <laughs> from what's far for me, and and what's challenging and what's like you know. Uh, Life altering is, is very different. So I, I realized they don't need 600 acres, although we have it here, it's great. And I've got some ideas for how to access them, but a sloping meadow, you know, a, a gentle forest is, is enough for them to, uh, to do what they need to do and to, and to feel challenged. And just going down the hills and uneven ground and tall grass, and, and it's as tall as them, and they think, ah! <laughs> and then uh, and they, they walk through it, and, and they, uh, it brushes their face, and, and you, see, you see their development from, uh, it's tickling me, or to, to uh, just running down it and not thinking about it anymore, and, and uh, just getting stronger, and, and uh, get, getting, um, a whole different perspective. Um, so that, that's been really fun and, and it's really fun working with Miranda to bring that balance. So I, sometimes I feel like, oh, this is not, this is not challenging enough. Um, but, but then I, 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 I remember, okay, look at these kids. They're, uh, look at their faces. They're, they're beaming. They're, they're doing what they need to do. This is perfect. <laughs> Just don't, they don't have to go any farther, any harder. Yeah.